What if I told you there was a supplement that was not only the most researched supplement in sports science, but also the most effective? Today, we're going to be breaking down creatine, what it is, how it works, and why it matters. Creatine is most popular for its performance benefits in the gym and predominantly resistance training. And the direct mechanisms don't only just improve your strength in the gym, but it can even help with things like depression, mood, maybe even people with traumatic brain injuries. We have creatine stores all over the body, predominantly in the muscle tissue as well as the brain. And this is important for later in this video. Creatine is most well known of getting water into the cells of the muscle tissue. The most important thing that creatine directly does though is improving energy output of the cells. And this is via ATP production. Think of ATP as the fuel for the cell. Essentially the way that this works is we have energy output, we burn a phosphate off and it turns from ATP into ADP. And then we attach another phosphate and it becomes ATP again, allowing it to be an energy source again. Creatine not only helps with energy output predominantly in the resistance training world, but it can also help to actually literally increase muscle tissue size. It adds extra water into the cells of the muscle tissue as well as satellite cell recruitment. And this simply means that it's recruiting satellite cells around that muscle cell to increase the volume of the cell. This can literally increase the muscle tissue size that you have. Even in trained athletes adding creatine supplements Supplementation, five up to 20 grams per day has been able to show linear improvements in resistance training from 10 up to 20%. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure that you continue to enjoy this video. And one thing that's really cool about this is they also study people who are sleep deprived. Sleep deprived individuals get even more energy output than non-sleep deprived individuals. And one of the awesome things about them studying sleep deprived individuals is not just the energy output in the gym, but the energy output and the mood benefits that these people also experience. Because we're increasing the ATP production in the brain, this helps with the cognitive improvements as well. Mental alertness, mood, and even memory. One of the most profound studies that was done within brain health and creatine use was traumatic brain injury. A traumatic brain injury could be something like a car accident or even getting a concussion. It took people from 10% functionality all the way up to 90% functionality again in reduction in symptoms directly, but it also improved dizziness. To me, that's the most prevalent one and unique one to me because if you've ever been cussed before, the dizziness is second to none. The nausea symptoms and everything like that the equilibrium being thrown off. Almost feels like you're in a daze. On top of that, they've also been studying adolescents that had depressive like symptoms where they were usually treating with SSRIs. They've even done studies in adolescents where they applied creatine for people that were depressed. They found an overall average of 56% improvement in those depressive like symptoms. And certain people do not respond to SSRIs and those ones that were SSRI resistant, they actually saw direct improvements when in tangent with creatine. Creatine has also been shown to improve overall cardiovascular markers. This includes LDL levels, triglycerides, and even homocysteine levels. In this one study, they found that it improved triglycerides by a reduction of 23%. That is profound. And on top of this, the VLDL had a reduction of 22%. And then homocysteine, I'm hoping they have more studies done on this because I have personally applied creatine use to myself when my homocysteine levels were double the range at a 24. And and from one month of use of creatine at 10 grams per day, not only was I cognitively feeling better and my mood better, but on top of this, I had a reduction from that 24 cut down in 50% down to a 12. Creatine is most abundantly found within red meats and fish. So vegans don't really get creatine consumption in their day in the life. So when implementing a creatine supplement, remember supplements are to supplement a diet and a lifestyle, vegans have had more benefits out of creatine use than other populaces. So where someone might get 10% improvement in the gym and training, they might see 15 to 20%. On top of that, the mood improvements were more profound as well as overall cognitive performance and memory. So what are dosing protocols? You hear all the time that creatine is messing up my digestion, I'm retaining water. Well, yes, creatine does help you retain water, but predominantly within the cells of the muscle tissue. So there's two methods. There's the linear method where you're just taking three to five grams of creatine per day, which is what most people 
need. This would be the gradual approach. But there's also the loading method, which a lot of these studies are actually done with. And that is up to 20 grams of creatine per day for two weeks. This helps to saturate the bloodstream full of creatine. One way to prevent some of the digestive issues when you're loading is splitting them up into five gram dosages up to four times per day. And just like most other supplements, pairing this with food would actually help to reduce down some of that digestive distress when consuming creatine. After two weeks, you reduce down the dose to five grams or 10 grams, wherever you feel best. I can talk from personal experience that I feel way better at 10 grams of creatine per day with no digestive issues versus five grams of creatine. So assessing your own tolerance is definitely going to be important here, but the typical dose is three to five grams per day once the bloodstream is saturated. Both approaches work. The loading method just gets you there faster, but it's only for two weeks. So how often should you take this? And my personal opinion, even on non-training days, I would highly recommend taking this because of the overall mood benefits that do come with this and the cognitive benefit. As far as timing goes, if you are going to work out that day, I personally would take it before training. And this is due to the fact that it increases ATP production and energy output while you're at the gym. Creatine is safe, simple, and effective. It's also the most studied supplement on the face of the planet. Give it a shot, see if you feel better, and let me know down in the comments below.